Cold Slap Scrappy peeps. Welcome to this edition of Freezing Cold Mixed Media Monday. It's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm here with my adorable freaking little mittens. Can you still call them mittens when they don't cover your fingers? I always see mittens as like the round ones that don't have finger holes. They're just a big glove thing. Tell me that makes sense in your brain. Anyway, I'm here with a bit of mixed media, just something a little bit different. And I'm drawing my inspiration from one of the pieces of paper from um, Paige Evans's Pink Paisley collection. And it was all different pink blotches of color. And I wanted to replicate it because I only have one bit of that paper and I just wanted to experiment a little bit. So I'm using some of my Dina Wakely um, heavy body acrylic paints. And also, I think I might use some of the dilutions as well. Do I? Yes, I do. And I'm just using a thick, wide brush to just plonk on some color in patches, I guess you could say. Now, I did have an idea that my photo was going to go pretty much where I'm painting that splodge right now. Um, so I think if you try that this technique, just have a basic idea where you want your photo to go before you get started because it did kind of move my it kind of what's the word I'm looking for it influenced where I put my paint so I'm just going with a bit of a pinky palette here and the photo that I'm doing is a photo of one of my really good friends at her hen's party with her family um, she's one of four girls so I took a photo of the four of them and I wanted to keep it in the pinky tones um, because you know there's five girls in the photo and I like pink. So I used a black and white photo just to make the background pop a bit more. So if you want to try this, have a go first with a black and white photo. It's a whole lot easier than trying with a color photo and trying to work out a color that only suits that the colors that show in that photo. And then apparently I'm putting some white here, but that's where the photo is going, Adele. Why are you putting it there? Ah, I'm using it like a bit of a palette in sneaky sneaky and you'd never know because I cover that up I felt like it just needed a little bit more white in it it was getting a bit too blocky in its color so I'm getting this this is a just a cheapy fluoro pink it's kind of like a fluoro coral like a fluoro red I guess you could say um, and I'm just doing some Wilner inspired little little lines just over here because I didn't want to do a whole streak because I felt like it was too much so I'm just doing some little lines and I think to balance it off I do some on the other side as well it is freaking freezing here any other Australians as cold as I am at the moment I know I'm a wuss when it comes to the weather but I have been so cold lately it's only been like 20 degrees which is not cold at all Celsius that is um, I could not live somewhere where it got 20 degrees Fahrenheit. I couldn't do it. I, I would I would turn into a recluse. <laughs> I wouldn't go outside. Um, but I have been freezing cold lately. So that's why this day, you'll see a few videos that I made on this day and they're all wearing these gloves. And I just put my excess paint into my little use it up little mini art journal. So now I'm coming in with some color blast in the marshmallow, I think it's called. It's their white. Um, color and a couple of people have asked where I got this from I got this from scrapbooking from scratch um, so you can find Peter's shop online and you can purchase it there and it's so soft the only problem I have with it is that the containers are tiny I just I'm going to go through that container very very quickly so I'm just using this arrow stencils from flutter by designs which is my friend Nita and I really like it because it's a thick stencil it's not I find sometimes the Tim Holt ones, are, Tim Holtz, sorry, are really, really thin. Um, whereas this one's really thick. And I like that because it really gives a lot of dimension. Aaron, what are you doing? Seriously, I'm Aaron. I'm so stuck. <laughs> I'm trying to get out. <laughs> I'm filming the voiceover at Aaron's desk and he's stuck in the corner of his desk. and He's trying so hard to get out without making noise, but it just wasn't working for him. Um, so like I always do, if I've got extra, if I use a stencil on a layout, I always, even if I haven't got extra paint per se, I do like to use it in my use it up journal because it gives you a background for next time without the effort. And you might as well do it while the stencil's dirty because 
you don't have to clean it twice. You only have to clean it once. That's my logic anyway. <laughs> so I'm blasting it with the heat gun a little bit. And when you dry it, it does change quite a lot. Um, whoop, shake, 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 shake your heart shine, shake your heart shine. Now, please note, if you're a first time hearty shiner, you have to shake it a butt ton of times. Like I always pause the camera when I shake my hearty shine. So please don't think I only shake it for 10 seconds because really I shake it for up to five minutes. Um, I shake it kind of until I can not see any of the clunky painty part down the bottom of the bottle if I turn it upside down. So I added some little splatters there and now it's time for my photo. Now I've already matted my photo on some vellum just because that's easy. You can do that easily and I don't need to show you that. Plus it takes time. So I'm adding a little doily that I got from Amazon, which I love and I'm never going to run out of. And here I was feeling so lazy this day that I used glossy accents to glue this doily on and then glossy accents to glue the whole thing on, which is such a waste of glossy accents. <laughs> but I was really cold and I was trying not to move too much and the tape wasn't within arm's reach. And I know how lazy that sounds, but it's true and that's what happened and I'm letting you in on the secret. So sticking that picture down, I do tend to use wet glue though when I use mixed media just because um, double-sided tape doesn't always work as well as it usually does just on paper. So here that little embellishment is one that I made using diamond press and then I grabbed, this is another layout where I just use things within arm's reach. I really recommend that um, keep a little dish on your desk of your favorite pack of new embellishments. So this one's the Maggie Holmes Bloom collection by Crate Paper. And I'm just leaving that on my desk until I use it because otherwise if I put it in a cupboard and save it because it's oh so pretty, I'll never freaking use it. And then when it's time, when I pull it out again, I'll be sick of it and I won't want to use it again. So I'm, I'm all about using it up at the moment. So I have one container that has my latest, newest, favoritist collection in it and then I have another tiny container not too big because if it gets too big then it gets out of control but just a small container like the size of a like a I don't know a, a coffee mug like that kind of size and I just put embellishments in it um, that I've, I've either made or that were the end of a packet or I was going to use on the layout and then I decide not to so I just chuck it in there and I really recommend doing that because it makes scrapbooking so much easier when you just want to make something but you don't really want to put a lot of time into gathering things for the page. So here I'm just using my, <laughs> my happy kneel um, if you don't follow me on Instagram, I accidentally called, I, I went to type, um, I love this happy bowl, I think it was. And I typed bowl, B-E-I-L, because the E and the I were next to the O and the W and my fingers were fat and it was the morning. <laughs> and it auto-corrected to happy Neil. So this is, this bowl's now known as Neil. So Neil has some little resin flowers that I've got off eBay and I'm just sticking some of those little ones on. And this little wooden best, I think it's from the reject shop. I have a feeling. So yeah, so I really like how this one turned out. I do add just a tiny bit of journaling, I think in a moment and some of my little gold punch stars, oh, stars, what am I talking about? Hearts, hearts Adele, hearts, you love hearts. Um, my voice is starting to get a bit better, but it's still a bit, I'm back to school tomorrow today actually as you're watching this I'm filming this on Sunday night and back to school and it's gonna be a fun adventure because I'm at school until about eight o'clock at night for a staff meeting gotta love 13 hour work days um, but anywho this layout is done by the way if you don't follow me on snapchat you should if you have snapchat because this afternoon Aaron had a Heidi Shine disaster, just like I did. He spilled Heidi Shine all over the table and lovely deep dark maroon color. It missed his little creation by a centimeter, um, but it was hysterical. So we documented the whole thing on um, Snapchat. If you head over there, I'm Inky Quill is my username and you can follow me there. Let me know if um, Aaron and I have started doing these things called ICAD, which is index card a day. If you don't know what it is, and you like art journaling media stuff, you should look it up. Let me know in the comments below if you would like Aaron and I to share our 
um, ICADs over on my other channel, Let's Get Inky, which is my arty channel. Um, they're really fun. We've never done them before and this is Aaron's like first proper mixed media adventure. So let me know in the comments below if you'd like to see some of those and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!